What is up and it's going on guys, Simpsy here and welcome back to some more Total War Rome 2 Let's Play as the guys Saini and uh, I actually haven't played this in a while so I love loading this up and thinking oh shit, oh not oh shit, oh, oh sweet we have a massive battle to do with Shaga son of Dolph and we have First another army battle. here, we're going to be taking on the last of the Ibadani and in Ildon. Now first things first, um, technology wise, I did go agriculture with the Isaini. I th now regret that and I've gone, okay, I've already done what I was thinking. Okay, good. Um, so what's this? Warrior code. Plus five to missile damage of land units. There was both yards. Infantry chain mail. That might be a good idea, actually, now that I think about it. Probably research some of that so um, our troops can actually get armoured. So I'm going to move my, my armies up. My oh, shit. Is that all? I just realised we might have a non... Well... What's it called? You are welcome. Non-aggression pact. Although my right? ancestors and people We're break expect. Better break non-aggression pact. Now, now that I think about it, I thought I had a lot of troops over here, I which actually probably to could turn the soon. people of Britain. Yeah, we'll declare war on you. Does that mean I could actually take? No, oh, no, they have a lot remaining, but I will maintain the, the blockade. blockade but, in saying that, I am going to move this army up. Now, should I attack these armies on the field? They have a lot of slingers. Um, it's not like we attack these guys, but we will attack on the field. Or should we go straight for the settlement? I'll see if I can go straight for the settlement. I probably won't be able to, though. Okay, yes we can. So, we're gonna go, um... We do outnumber them by a shit ton. Holy crap. We have nearly 5,000 men. They have... A garrison army is kind of shit. Reinforcements are nothing, but this is... Really interesting. Uh, we're gonna continue the siege. And, uh, we will end the turn. And see what happens in the next. I don't see why not. I'd much rather them attack us on the field and give us a better advantage. Because you always have the disadvantage, of course, when you're besieging. You're always going to take more casualties from... Probably not even just from units, from just towers, boiling oil... Yeah, and just shit like that. And they the wanted a peace drawn, treaty. Are you kidding me? Bloodied. End this feud. We no way. I do not want a peace treaty, and they know they're gone as well. We still have to take their settlement over in modern day Ireland, but what of it? Defy us for a couple of turns. Won't matter too much. I'm hoping we don't lose too many troops to attrition besieging. I know, I know um, they obviously lose more, but I swear I lost like 300 troops once, and it was like kind of bullshit. Yeah, look at that. Shagas lost 300. I know, obviously, when you're besieging, you said we do lose attrition, but... Come on. Ca what? Carthage rises. <laughs> Maybe I can move my... We can't do that. I mean, to the fray a bit better. Um... Hmm. Oh shit! We cannot. Okay, that was an extremely bad move. Um, or well not? Can we move this army up? Okay, we have a better advantage here without the garrison. We'll fight this army on the field with our with our not so good army. That oh yeah, because that army, the other army, their besieging is blocking. So we'll destroy this massive army at the front, and uh, we will leave. Yeah, look at that. We outnumber them two to one. Haha! <laughs> A little bit better odds when last time we were here. We're going to do our brothers proud. Hopefully, we don't have the best type of army, but we are going to surround them. Um, 
We have relatively the same amount of slingers, uh, they got four more, but we've got Vilates. We've got a couple of sword bands, so that's not too bad. We have spear band, but we have a full stack, pretty much like a full stack of sword band coming in. So, um, I'll see you guys at the deployment screen very shortly. Okay, hey guys, welcome, we're going to wait a turn, or we're going to wait. There's a lot of fog, I would like a dry day, but it's raining, so I don't think we're going to get much better than that. Uh, archers may not use flaming arrows, this is more difficult to set buildings of fire, and units set longer to recover from fatigue. Fog, looks like we're going with fog for the time being. And uh, that is their army. Oh, they're in a fort. Okay, um, I didn't even think of that. Well, Shagger's coming from the other side, so I think we will wait until he gets closer in range because it's just a logical, logical thing, really. Um, go out there when we're all together, and then push. But in saying that, I am going to move my slingers up so they can hopefully, no, no, deal some damage, and then if there's a charge, we can. Hold back. But yeah, we'll move my uh, my troops up. And uh, hopefully Shaga can get here quickly. And there's my army coming up here. Our reinforcements have arrived. Good, 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 good. So they're moving up. Um I wonder how many we can deploy at a time. Or does it like wait? Nope, they're all coming in. Okay. My sling is quite uh, quite in range, but I'm gonna get them all to concentrate all fire. Oh and actually we'll get two to hit there and then two to hit on the actual slingers. But it looks like we're pretty much all in now. Um are they still coming in? Yes. It's going to be a hell of a fight, to be honest. Yeah, they deployed some of their troops back. Okay. Looks like they're making a charge. So we're going to fall back. And we're going to move up my lot of sword band to deal with them. Meanwhile, over here. Jesus. Um, sword all these sword band, sword band, you are going to march and try to get there as quickly as possible. Oh, looks like they're actually selling out. Whether or not it's just a bit of a slinger war here, to be honest. Of course, let them do their thing. Waste it on my slingers is more than me. Once we conquer Britannia, it won't matter. We'll be able to replace them rather quickly. Okay, but in saying that, we do need more Slinger support. So I'll move my other lot of Slingers here. And set their reinforcements. One lot of cavalry. The men are wavering. Men are wavering. Uh, that better not be my skirmishers. They are. That's understandable. One of their units is wavering as well. We are pinging rocks at each other. Looks like everyone's moving up quite comfortably. So my general. The men are wavering. Yeah, so I'd much rather lose casualties of like spear band and stuff. Sorry, uh, sca um, slingers than actual like sword band stuff. Um, we'll fire that one as well. Yeah, I'll start moving up my guys. Yeah. The men are wavering. Pop you there. Warriors. Warriors. Yeah, I've lost my slinger unit. But, in saying that, they have lost theirs, and I need to stop saying in saying that. Well, it looks like they've moved there. The men are wavering. Troops up, but we're gonna move my slingers. I'm back, back over here. Okay. Um. 
Okay, they're making a charge, which is their mistake. So we're going to charge right at them. Okay, um, you two are definitely going to attack, or a lot of you are. Hope we don't lose any too many troops from this charge. Instantly. Hey, while these guys are continuing to charge, I guess we could even uh, send some troops. Why the hell are those slingers still there? Oh, it's gonna be my cavalry, but I don't think I will. I'm gonna move these guys here. Deal with them, and we'll send three lots around to even attack from this side. Um, and then you lot can go from here on. But we are attacking them now. It's good to see, and we're about to. Oh my god, I don't know what's up with these massive black blotches here. It's really giving me the shits. Um, it's making me lose like immersion and all. That's fine if we look this way, so we'll just have to look it that way. Slingers. The battle is turning in our favour, which is good. Good to see. Um, keep on keeping on, I guess. It's going to be a pretty big grind here, just trying to push, push through. We have to uh, take in the settlement. This won't be like siege towers and crap. I mean, uh, arrow towers and crap coming at us. Uh, this should bounce out quite well. We are going to lose a lot of casualties in this battle, even though we do outnumber them two to one. Just simply facts of war, to be honest. Okay, we'll move. Yeah, we'll make them go straight through there. Yeah, I think I'll keep most of my other men in reserve. But I will get my cavalry to run down some of these troops that are fleeing. Um. We're actually starting to make a push into there now. Attack! Okay, not them guys. Who are we here? You can group and you can stay, really. I don't know why I grouped the general in his own unit, but... Hey, shit happens, I guess. Um, we'll get half of them to attack there. But the rest will flank there and attack them. Let's have a look. You can barely tell who's who. Uh, I'm going to get my general to inspire, I guess. Let me drop some uh, calls. Yeah, it looks like they're still coming on strong here. Yeah. Okay, they're heroic riders are fleeing, so I'm going to get my riders to chase them. Sword. And we have taken the settlement. They should be all routing by now. Um, I there's some, some troops back there. No, there's not. These guys still keep to be keeping on. They're coming. But we're going to end it there. Um, decisive victory. I'm quite happy with that result. We deployed 5,363. Jeez, man. We lost 516. We killed 2,782. And to be honest, most of those losses, the 516, were mostly slingers. So uh, we actually hardly lost any sword band and shield band. I mean, sword band and uh, spearmen. That's decent. They Yeah, they killed 500 of us. So they... There's only 200 left remaining, so that's probably what we're going to enslave, but 
The Ebidani are done. We finally got revenge on the battle site where we lost 3,000 troops, which made put us on a major setback. But I'm going to skip this loading screen, and I'll see you guys at the top of the campaign map very shortly. Bye-bye. And we have destroyed them. Um, how many did we capture? None. But we destroyed their entire army, so that's magnificent. And now their settlement Ready for battle. is uh, completely gone, really. We can move my troops in further on, but it's going to be this army that does the breach. Uh, we do outnumber them quite significantly. Let I'm going to continue the siege. The I'm just going to save for the time being. I'm just thinking whether or not to actually play this. Because we still have to fight them over in Ireland. That is a decisive victory. We just play a battle. Yeah, why not? Bugger it. I might actually test out what... Oh, uh, we can't. I was going to say we should test out what the light galleys look like. Because I actually haven't played with them as of yet. But we will assault. We'll quickly finish off the last of the Abadani. And then uh, we've conquered Britannia as a whole. And then we just need to move on... Uh, Island, and then pretty much we can consolidate our forces. I would say I'd be comfortable by then we'd be able to field probably three stacks. Probably leave a small garrison in the British Isles, and we can start invading uh, northern France. Kian, modern day Kian, and all that good stuff attacking the Gauls and the Arveni and the Swabi, maybe. And uh, we could even have to fight some Roman legionaries or uh, Roman legions while we're down there. So, uh, without further ado, guys, I'll see you guys on the battle map. Let's do the deployment screen, eh? Okay. Good, we got a dry battle. Um, okay. They have little amount of walls. They have a gateway there. I'm trying to think what's the best place to actually have at it. Um, where's my towers? There. Okay, we'll get one each to embark on the ladders. So there's a gateway here. We can probably set two towers to go along there, so we'll do that. Um, where's the other gateway? Here, so we'll pop you about there. Um, and there's one there, one there. Um, there's one just here, so can we actually deploy a tower there? Probably not. We might be able to. Actually, nah. Bugger it, I'll just go with full on assault here. At least we'll put the, the towers here so we can most definitely. Ready. Actually, I'll pull my things here. Those come out and merge from the forest. Okay, so now that we've done that, we can. Do, how many have we got? We got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. Uneven number. Um, that'll be alright. So we'll put 3 on. We'll put. Yeah, we'll put. Four on each one, and then actually put four on this breach here. And now I think about it, mind you, it's not really going to matter. We do have reinforcements, so everything should be a okay. Um, don't think there's even a point to put slingers. Actually, we could. Is there like a secret way to deploy? We deployed our abilities. <laughs> Which didn't, the plan actually didn't work, so. Eh, uh, we, could, we could get them over here. They might be able to get some shots off some neighbouring troops, but I, I highly doubt it, to be honest. We'll just keep them there for the time being. Put my general there, and uh, let's have at it. Okay, um. Yeah, let's deploy. We'll send one of you over here to Our reinforcements have the, arrived. the gateway. Um, probably actually going to deploy most of my towers on this half because it's kind of a weak spot. There's not actually many towers between. Like, there's a massive gap between that tower and the other one, which is kind of odd. So, where's my army actually being deployed from? All the way over there. I'll wait for them all to get into the field and we'll probably just rally up on this gateway. Um, everyone should be running though. I do want that to be happening. I'm moving with my 
my towers. So what are they deployed on here? Skirmishes. We might lose a couple of casualties, but nothing really too biggie. Um, yeah, I wonder if we can actually get some shots off over the what do we say? over the over the rocks. That'd be quite cool. I don't know if we'll be able to do it though. Don't really see why not, but be a hell of a shot. Yeah, bugger, we're probably gonna lose. Oh, hang on. Yeah, we're probably gonna lose casualties up here, so we might as well just come back to my general for safekeeping. Um, this army over here. Now, I totally forgot about you. Um, just come over there, deploy that way. How's the gateways going? They're burning. We haven't breached that one yet. How about over here? Oh, hang on. Have we been sallied out? No, we haven't. Not yet. The fact, men, are, men wavering. are wavering. Which men are wavering, in fact? I know we're about to reach some walls on this flank. Have we burnt down their city? I reckon by the time the gateway goes down, we won't need to deploy the siege equipment. Yeah. But on here, I think it's a good idea because the enemy general's enemy general is dead. dead. So good, good to see. Yeah, especially on that side. By the time the, the gatehouse is gone. Britons! Oh, hang on, no, this is my other army running up. Jesus, imagine seeing that. That massive horde. The enemy's gates oh, we've have destroyed been destroyed. the enemy gates, which is good to see. And I'm hoping it's this one. We're at 10% damage, so it must be this one. Yes. Um, I don't know how that's happening, but for some reason, that is still going. So we're going to go up there and take the town with this capture point. I'm going to keep a troop here to uh, hold it, but the rest we're going to put here to throw off the enemy. But I wouldn't be surprised if there's some additional troops in there. Uh, if we destroy this point, not quite, but my troops up on the walls are going to give it their best the enemy's shot. Gates have been gate. destroyed. have a lot of forces over here. Um, we'll go over there. Now that's open. And this gate is open as well, so everyone push in. Head up towards, basically just head up towards the capture points. We have captured the gates! And with my second army here, um, I guess we can move in. We've got too much sword band in there. We do keep want to keep them. But slowly move out the spearmen, so we'll push them in. The Ibadani, I don't know what's going on. The enemy have captured the gates! Meanwhile, we should be all charging. We've taken this gate now, so. Sword bands! The enemy have captured the gate! For those guys doing the Which is which? What victory point are we taking this one here? Oh, we'll keep this one here. The rest. Well, we will fight off the farmers. One down, two to go. We have captured a tower. Captured a tower, which is right, I guess. We do have troops here ready to take this capture point, and we have a lot more coming in to take this. But I think we're fighting off the enemy first. 
I think we can start speeding up this process. There's no really nothing really that interesting happening, to be quite frank. But once we've taken this, yes, we finally conquered Britannia. But we still need to get Ireland. Shouldn't be too difficult. So, um, yes, should I um, put in the comment section down below uh, where? Oh, okay. Well, it's ended now. So, we're in the battle. Decides to victory. I'll just read out the stats and then I'll speak about what I was going to talk about. So we deployed just under 5,000 troops. We lost 402. We killed 1,351. That's not too bad result. And uh, that is pretty much their army's gods. So um, put the comment section down below. Uh, now that we've conquered Britannia, once we've taken modern day Ireland, should we attack like uh, Denmark in that modern day Denmark area? Or should we attack um, like in modern day France, attack the Gaul, the Avani, I would imagine the Swaby and uh, the, I don't know if the Saxons are, are probably, I don't think it's roughly where the Saxons are, they're not quite, I don't think the Saxons are a faction at the moment, but those Gaelic um, Scandinavian tribes in the north. Or should we just completely fuck off in the Germania and France and the Avani, the Gauls, we could even all the way go down to Spain and start. Um, colonizing Spain under Brita uh, Britannia rule. So, uh, yeah, we'll just have to see. Put in the comment section down below, I'd like to know. So, we have now finished them off. And there's, no, there's none left. We can actually liberate, which is interesting. We can sack, which I'd prefer not to do, but we're going to occupy. And Ready thus turns uh, ends this episode. Ready so, without orders. further ado, guys, thank you very much if you watched all the way through. All your likes and comments and supports, and you supporting these Rome series is uh, making me very happy, um, and I really do appreciate it. So, I'm going to end it. Whoa, hang on a second. Since when did they have all this? That's very odd. Oh, looks like we're going to war. That looks very cool, the whole blue and the whole green kind of contrast there. Anyway, I'm going to end it here. Hope you enjoyed watching, and uh, there'll be some more Rome 2 content tomorrow. I'll see you guys later. Simsy out. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. Just before I leave you today, I would like to go and please follow me on Twitter. It's the best way to interact with me. If you've got any questions at all, message me on Twitter, and I'll reply to absolutely everything. On there, you'll be able to see Let's Plays coming up when I've posted a video and all that good stuff. So uh, also, if you'd like to subscribe to get all the recent up-to-date content on my channel. So, bye guys.